this has been claimed to be the best internal filter out there. Made in Italy by a company called Sice, it comes with a five year warranty. The Shark Pro internal filter. Now, that says aquarium capacity of up to 70 US gallons, which I believe is around, well, it's 260 litres. So, flu valve, for this, for this tank here, I think it'll be perfect. This is the Roma 240. But I want to have a look first, because is it as good as it makes out? Well, we're going to take it apart. I must admit, the box is extremely heavy. So this is just under 70 pounds, uh, UK pounds. And this is what worries me. All three compartments open, but it has some nice features on it, including an integrated spray bar. It had some flow regulation, which we can see from here. It has um, a magnet mount, which is so cool. I'm going to have a look at that as well. So I'm going to open the box and we're going to have a quick look and see what we can find inside. Well, in the box, they really do want to save money because there's your accessories. Um, and we've got the three section one here. Uh, I'm going to put this camera on a stand of it so I can take it apart. A magnetic mount, which is quite good. I'm going to read some of the instructions and we're going to have a look inside the media containers. So this is the main unit and on the main unit, to undo it, you literally twist and turn. In there you have the motor. This is the regulator so you can change the flow. This is the magnet system I was telling you about. That goes on the outside, that goes on the inside. That clips to that, and then that clips in there. Integrated spray bar is supposed to be here, so let me see if I can get that open. Just by pulling, yeah, there you go, and there's the spray bar here. Not bad, let's put that to one side. Let's have a look at the main unit. Obviously this has to go a certain way. Which, let's have a look. Yeah, look, they just undo like that. And there you have it. And in here, media. That's just a sponge. So, you only get one media basket in it, which is strange. Okay. Now this has got... Uh, some little plastic stuff, which is obviously going in the bin. We'll have a look at that. Hmm. Let's put that on. That goes back in there. It can only go one way by the look of it. I'll show you. It can't go in that way, obviously, because it won't sit. But it can go in that way. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So I'm not really really confident about any of this to be honest that looks like sponge in there so we'll take that apart and we'll have a quick look at that as well okay so with the biggest system they do I believe they have two of these media pots okay one has little plastic balls in it this one has a media bag which is probably a chemical concoction of some description. It says on there that it is a pearl system. Mm. So there you go, you get, this is the bigger version, okay? You get three of these, two of these, okay? Which seems a bit strange. They go in one way anyway, as you know. So like that, and like that. So what I'm going to be doing is changing this about a bit. The main top one has to have that on. So whichever way you do it, has to have that top on. Now I'm going to put some of my own media in this, okay, because I want to try it. And I'll, I'll show you in another video what the type of media I'm going to use. But for the time being, I want to get this running and I want to show you what it looks like in the tank as it is, just as it is, okay? So let's get it in there. This is the unit back together. And this is basically what it comes with. 
you literally put that on there just squeeze it in I normally move these to one side or the other like that just to give that and I'm going to put it on maximum flow using that but then I'm going to try pulling this up and using the spray bar as well so I'm interested to see how that works so let's get it in the tank we'll have a look points of note the last section is just magnetic so it can come out quite easily um, and the cable on this is the longest cable I've ever seen I mean normally I have to run an extension to the particular felt that I'm using this one plugs straight in the wall which means it's probably two and a half meters about two and a half meters maybe seven foot that's that's a hell of a cable so okay let's get it in the tank and have a look well okay look I'm going to show you a few things. This can move about really easy. And when you turn that flow down, like that, hear that noise? Now, I believe that is because it's slightly out of the water. Okay, so if I push this down, let's push this right down. There you go. All right. There you go. Now, to position it, you're still going to get water out of here, no matter what you do. Okay. There's your flow. I would not recommend this for a 240 litre tank stocked. Well, I would likely stock one of these tanks for that. Okay. I would not use this in a fully stocked tank. However... However, you can add ones onto this, all right? It's quiet enough. Let's have a look what it looks like in here. Okay, I mean, it's never gonna block, not with that amount of holes, but I'm gonna show you what I'll do with that later in a different um, video, because I wanna link it to this one, um, because I've never been a keen fan of things that you can't control the flow on, but this one, we might be able to. So we'll have a look in a second. That's it, let's have a look. There you go. And that controls the flow. There you go. It's all right. It's noisy when it's like that. Let me push this right down. I'm trying to get this to go right down. It's a pain without taking it off the magnets though. So we'll try that. Let me give it a second. Okay, now as you noticed, this is still leaking, but that is the amount of flow. Okay. So it does have a fair old flow. But this does, it's very difficult to control when it's on these little magnet things. The little magnet really isn't strong enough, in my opinion, and it should clip onto this, not be magnetically onto this side. So. But there you have it. So I'm going to put a link, okay, at the end of this video, all right? Click on that link and I'll show you what media I'm going to use in this and how I think to make this far better than when it comes out of the factory, okay?